Grand Rising and Wholeness family. Welcome to Homeschool Approach to Holistic Health. I'm your nutrition assistant, Coach Scott, here in the Garden of Ether, where we host our self-healing retreat experiences. It's been a while. I'm so glad to get back into the swing of things. My apologies. Uh, well, actually, unapologetically, I had to take care of some things. You know, a lot of people like to air their uh, things that they have to take care of. Me, personally, I prefer to keep it all exciting and cheery and, you know, my problems look just like your problems. So, authentically, just know if you have a problem, I probably had the same problem. So, anywho, um, today's content is just simply... Um, kind of clearing the space, clearing the air. I had a little Palo Alto, a little sage in the air again because I don't want to bring any of that negativity onto the screen. I want to just pull positive and um, all that good stuff and just something as simple as positive and negative, what that means. Actually, they're both good. They get a battery moving. It charges your car. It charges our electric body. So yes, we need both. So um Again, I don't do a lot of talking um, in regards to things that I need to take care of unless, of course, you can help me because I, there's no pride here. Like, if I think you can help me, I'm going to put it out there. But I'm doing really well taking care of things myself. So I enjoy being a solutionist, and I'm here to help you as well solve some things. So uh, if there are some things that you are interested in sharing and would like to see um, how Coach Scott got through those, please go ahead, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to share um, my experiences on that level, not for those meddling, gossipy people. But uh, so anyway, other things that you can do to clear your space, simply deep breathing, guys. Y'all see my new tapestry that I got in the back? I love it. Do you see how it has that? Oh, actually, you probably can't see how the wind is blowing it because I got my yoga mat blocking it so if you notice how I have it off the wall just a little bit so that I can see how mother nature's energy is going and flowing today do y'all see how she's breathing oh yeah so another way to clear that space and air is just to take hmm just a deep breath way down deep and catch her flow and if you notice I got a little sweat trickling off because I had a little yoga workout before I got on the screen and I prefer no air conditioning so let's talk about air conditioning guys yeah my melanin where I'm from yeah we eat fire where we're from and so I noticed that inside of places I kept wanting to go inside and get cool and it's like wait a minute maybe what I need to do is start allowing my body to do what it's supposed to do and you know um be in the heat for a little while uh that back to that negative and positive energy you know sometimes you need that balance and so being hot isn't always a bad thing because then that kundalini energy begins to rise and all that good stuff and so um getting up a good cardio workout um this aerobic workout is what we're talking about. However, cardio is really good. So a little sweat dripping down the body ain't never hurt nobody. So, uh, yes, doing that. Um, I even feel it going down my back. So, anywho, the air condition is not on in uh, the homeschool approach to holistic health at this time. And that's why you're going to see a lot more sweat glistening. Oh, trying to catch her. Can y'all feel her? I know y'all can see her. I love it. This was such a good idea. Tell me I'm smart. Tell me. Tell me I'm smart. <laughs> okay, another way. How about crystal charging? Okay, so I got plenty of these. I just brought these two along. This is the clear quartz. So what you want to do is take, let's say, we'll take the big one for the left hand this time. And you want to place it upside down in your hand. And then you want to take the other charge, almost like you're charging a um, your car when you put the uh, get your give somebody a jump. So this is what we're doing. We're creating that closed circuit, and then we can still do that deep breathing. 
catch catch mother nature's breath so one of my favorites to start off is to tell people to breathe in for four hold for four Breathe out, all using the nostril. Now I myself am up to 13. I love taking in 13 breaths and then breathing out 13 breaths. I typically don't hold when I do 13 and I do, it depends on how intense I'm trying to make the workout. Um, I know another way is to breathe in for 10 and then breathe out for 10. And by the time you replicate that three times, uh, you will be actually in synchronicity with mother nature and her breath. So uh, grounding is a really good way to do that too. Outside in nature, put your hands and your feet down in nature or just your feet. You can stand straight up and take those deep breaths and connect with her, you know. Cause mother nature has so many children. So you have to go have lunch with her, eat breakfast, you know, wake up and get out there. Let her know you're there. Hug a tree. <laughs> I, I remember the first time I did that, it was so interesting. I just had this thought uh, at the time that I was doing yoga by the tree and it just, I feel like DNA unlocked and said, hug me. So I hugged the tree and said, I'm here, you know, and I just felt since then I've had such a connection with nature. Um, I go in specific spaces and try to um, get that connection with her, but sometimes it doesn't matter where I'm at. I just know she's dropping those jewels. So that's a really uh, good way, of course, to is to get out in nature It's and just enjoy. Just, you know, enjoy. So another way to charge. So I've been charging myself that way. Of course, the yoga stretching it's a big deal make sure you do your stretching um water race wasted <laughs> okay so i really want to talk about just a little bit about um i have never smoked weed uh i was on um Novine CTV and she asked me something that kind of made me blush. I don't blush much. <laughs> so uh, she made me blush and um, I have never smoked weed, but I've always wanted to drink it like in a juice. Somebody told me that may be too potent. Uh, I've always because I know it's a natural herb. So by far am I um, willing. I want to do something with it. However, I'm more of a naturalist and I know smoking, my first thought is the lungs, you know, even Palo Alto, too much of it inside of your lungs. Um, you know, you kind of want to open a window, make sure you clear the air because you don't, you know, the esophagus is a, a big deal. You don't want to have all that uh, in your lungs. It's not made for that. So I've never really wanted to smoke it, but I've always wanted to drink it. Um, with that being said, the homeschool approach to holistic health tip that I'd like to give today is to know that simply deep breathing can give you a high. And I would, I've never smoked weed, but I would love to get some weed smokers on my comments and prove me wrong. Tell me that doing deep breathing exercises don't get you as high as smoking weed itself. Now, I don't mean no simple... See, I told you it don't. No, no, no. I mean literally going in because I have been to some spaces when it comes to deep breathing and I know it's high. Like, I, and you know, your skin cells will let you know when that wind blow and it just touch your skin. And OK, women, you know, that orgasmic feeling. It's like, where they come from? I had a girlfriend say, what kind of yoga you do? And I'm like, I don't know, but it's 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 on point but anyway so i wanted to share that tip that you definitely want to just do some deep breathing exercise really get into and know that um even if you're not a weed smoker uh marijuana mary jane all that good stuff i don't know i hope this is 
okay to say on YouTube, but <laughs> but I've never done it, but I have done deep breathing, and I would like to challenge the fact that deep breathing itself is going to give you that high. Back to the water wasted. I think it's the same as drinking alcohol. Why? Because I have had just beautiful feelings getting water wasted and i'm not saying i know there's supposed to be this amount of water that you can't drink uh up until a point where you start m messing up your ph balance and your electrolytes kind of get off balance that's not what i'm saying i'm saying enough water as if you were drinking alcohol because i i know about drinking alcohol okay again i don't drink alcohol i have had my share never been drunk I think I had what's called a buzz but I don't like not being in control of myself and I felt not being in control of myself with this alcohol so I was like oh yeah not for me but water wasted uh, honey let me tell you I would like to challenge any drunk <laughs> any alcoholic any one person who drinks to, to tell me that it's any different once you get water wasted because there is the, and I'm in control you know they call it wine and spirits for a reason because spirits low vibrating energies yeah it's real well water is also a spirit but guess what I charge it I get to tell it what to say I get to I can say I am powerful I am a goddess I am queen I am um, joy, bliss. Let's not forget to charge it. I can drink my water and immediately activate what I chose to say. Not the spirit, the alcohol, whoever created that energy, you know, none of that. Me. And then to get water wasted with charging my watch? Come on, y'all. Comment down below. Please comment down below. <laughs> Another thing, grounding. You know, taking your feet, your hands, and grounding them. Um, getting faded is what I like to call it when you're sun gazing. Because, you know, you get anything out in the sun... And you put this in the sun, you know, it's new right now. But if I keep it in the sun, it's going to fade. So what about you? What about your ether? What about your carbon, your energy? What happens once you get out in the sun and the sun is beaming on you? Could you get cross faded after your feet and your hands are in the ground maybe? You know, maybe, this, maybe these are scripts that were narrated and written by someone else. And come to find out, all this natural stuff is available to us. We just don't do it because we were already given a script. So my new script for my channel is to rewrite my own script. I'm writing my own script. So some of this stuff may seem like, oh, she's out there. She's weird. She's I love it because that just means you're seeing my uniqueness. Weird just means unique. I'm not supposed to be like you. I'm supposed to be like me so that's why i don't air all my dirty laundry i don't want to sit here and talk about oh this happened to me and this happened to me because what happens is all that energy starts to gather and compose into never getting out of that shit <laughs> so as far as i'm concerned i i solve my own problems i'm a solutionist but if you have a problem that you seem like you're struggling with i wouldn't mind helping you sharing what i went through and how i was able to I don't even like to say overcome because everything is a lesson and I enjoy my lessons. I'm disciplined. Um, I was even called anal and a fanatic and it's okay because to me that's their perspective. There's angles and uh, to this like the angle that they're coming from I'm anal. I can accept that. The angle that somebody else may be coming from I'm loose. I can accept that but from my perspective I'm Gucci, baby. <laughs> Anywho, uh, Tony Fork. Another way is to simply just listen to that vibrational tune. 
The reason why I love my set of nine is because I can pick any one of these tuning forks up, strike it, and listen for the um, vibration to just disappear. The beautiful thing about it is it never really disappears. And the more you train yourself to hear these vibrations, the more you can just pull them up from within because everything on the outside of you is really also on the inside of you there is no no separation that's one of the biggest um, concepts that was misinterpreted is that we're separate and we're not you know we're I am in you as you are in me so I am so grateful that I was able to get back on here today and break the fast of me not being on YouTube I missed you guys so hopefully I'll come with some more great content today was just kind of clearing the air clearing the space letting you guys know that coach Scott has a life and every now and then if I just disappear it's not because I'm not coming back it's just because I got things to do, y'all. Dang. Um, last thing. The Garden of Ether. She's open, y'all. So, um, basically, I've been working a lot with, um, actually, my men, guys. Like, usually when I first started, um, I thought I was going to get women but I've been working with a lot of men. I've been enjoying myself. The fact that that um, positive, negative energy, I'm able to see that balance, uh, recognize how to even help my women even more because looking at the men, we're all uh, conduits of energy and men are more naturally known to have that positive energy and women are known to have the negative energy uh, and that's why it makes us a perfect circuit uh, to create these beautiful beings that we have running around out here however um, again that's kind of why I've been off the grid because uh, homeschool approach to holistic health has been doing a lot of healing and uh, helping other people out so with that being said know that we are available for you to come uh, and um, enjoy your stay let me show you how some of these things work until next time, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you thought about this content. If you'd like to hear more content like this, you know you are anyway. Love you wholeness. Mwah. <laughs>